welcome back friends in this video we'll be talking about the logistic growth in the earlier video we talked about the exponential growth and I also talked to you about that the exponential growth is not possible in nature all the time in environment all the time because uh, the idea of exponential growth is uh, something that an individual will slowly start to grow and grow and grow and uh, top right growing to the top this will be the graph that is a J shaped graph that is not always true because an environment obviously have a capacity to fulfill that means environments uh, food factors environments uh, food availability water availability uh, habitat availability and all this stuff those are limited right so those limiting factors that are out there uh, determines that 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 thing forces other individuals not to grow rapidly and exponentially every time so let's say here if we start with uh, seeing the cell division and the individual slowly start to rise and rise after each time reproduction the intrinsic rate is also high and the organism is in exponential growth up to a certain limit only because once that organism reach that limit after that limit the environment cannot support the further growth and division anymore and that limit is known as a carrying capacity denoted with capital K carrying capacity is the is the maximum number of individuals an environment can support for their growth and division now once that a carrying capacity or limit is established when once that limit is reached after that limit the population growth is stabilized it's balanced it will no longer grow in top but it is stabilized right this will form a graph looks like slightly like a red letter s uh, alphabet s so we call it a s shaped curve or a logistic growth curve right in bacterial population i told you they belong to they have this exponential and logistic both actually exponential growth is never the truth in evolution uh, in, in environment you won't find an organism only dealing with the, with this exponential growth curve even if your organism have the exponential phase that will be a only a phase of their growth growth pattern after that phase is over after the carrying capacity is reached that organism also should convert their development and growth into logistic curve right because before reaching that carrying capacity the growth was exponential here once the carrying capacity is reached then it becomes logistic because those two things are working together right because there is an environmental carrying capacity in play so let's see here in much more details so here it is the carrying capacity is the maximum population size that an environment can support all right so once that carrying capacity is reached see this is the carrying capacity once the carrying capacity is reached the organisms will no longer grow in that aspect all right but they will be stabilized so in each logistic growth there are three different growth phases out there first is the lag phase lag phase means the phase where the initial growth start to form start to begin and it's, this growth is very very less you know not i mean it looks like it's stabilized it's not growing at all maybe the organism is introduced into the new environment so it will take some time to adapt to the environmental conditions and all the stuff be accustomed with the environment once that thing is done the second stage is called the rapid growth phase or exponential growth phase and slowly start to give us the graph like a j shaped curve once that thing is reaching the carrying capacity it ultimately gives us the stable phase or stationary phase this is the third and final phase of the evolution uh, of the growth curve here right so once the stable phase is reached uh, there are stabilizing factors which will limit the growth right and it will be stabilized here right If you see here, most of the cases uh, in logistic growth curve, what we see is that in exponential growth curve, the population growth works very, very rapidly. I mean, from this point, you see a huge incline uh, of the growth rate. But once that is reached, there is a followed by decline phase comes in. So it's called a rapid growth and the decay. And this is very common in case of uh, predator prey models in the environment, wherever a predator population rises the prey population declines and whenever the prey population declines at the end point as the food is going limited the predator population also goes down 
then once again the prey population slowly start to rise predator populations also start to rise so this is a typical graph that you'll see the up in the number of individuals in a population and down so the rapid growth and a decline it's a way to explain the predator prey models in evolution uh, in, in ecology I mean ecosystem where is it okay now in logistic curve if you look at the math what is the change in math in logistic curve because normally you know logistic curve is driven by the carrying capacity out there so in this case we need to take this carrying capacity in account so normally what we know about the exponential growth curve the growth rate capital G equals to the intrinsic growth rate small r multiplied with the capital N is the number of individuals in the population. But in case of the calculation in logistic growth, we take the same thing, we will calculate the growth rate of the population, it will be small r and n like the logistic, but in this case we need to take account for the value for carrying capacity because we know that there is a limited factor of the carrying capacity. So capital K minus N, so obviously there is a limit between the individual the environment can support and the total number of individuals in the environment that is present divided by the carrying capacity. So once you have this as a formula for calculating the growth rate of, of a logistic growth curve or of a logistic uh, model, okay. Actually, there are multiple factors that limit the population growth, I mean those carrying capacity factors and among them there are food supply, limited food supply, the build up of toxic wastes in the environment due to the huge population size, increased disease due to the huge number of individuals spreading throughout the place, disease also in, will increase, predation slowly start to happen in environment and all these things like limited food supply, toxic waste, increased disease. This is an example of all the cases in human population. We witness everything. Predation is not in that part, but also there are some violence slowly start to witness there. And see, this is the example what I am talking about, about the uh, rise and fall of the population size based on the predator pay model. See, as the predator slowly start to rise, prey also start to rise and once the prey uh, is less predator populations also slowly start to fall. So this is the same way, the, this is the predator, uh, prey, snow, snowshoe here, this is the prey and predator is the lynx. So see here, as the population of prey is high, the population of, uh, uh, so this is the high population of snowshoe here, the prey. Now the predator also slowly start to rise, but whenever as predators start to rise, the prey will be dead now they will eat the prey so the prey populations are having now decline so after that some time when the prey is less in the environment obviously the predator content will also go so what it is telling us is that a predator is obviously relying on a prey's number of individual the number of prey that is present in the environment for survival because it's its food so if the prey population goes down it will also take down the predator population right so this is a direct link between the predator and prey and the evolutionary relationship between the two. So if one population goes down, the other will also go down. That's why in environment we say everything is connected. So if you kill a tiger, it will impact our life, right? Because it will change the whole course of the things how it's origin, uh, how it's happened now. Okay, so that is uh, it's known as a boom and a bust, uh, sharp increase, uh, rapid increase and sharp decline. And it's very common of predator prey models. So that is it guys about uh, the logistic growth. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this and obviously share this video with your friends. Thank you.